Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Word. In this module, I want to have a look at bullet lists, numbered lists, and outline numbered lists. So first of all, I'm just going to get a blank piece of paper. The paragraph group at the top is where all of this is going to sit. So first of all, a bullet list. So if I click on the bullet list, it gives me a bullet on the screen. And then I can just type, press enter, type, press enter, that gives me a bullet list. If I need a space, I hold my shift key down and press enter, let go, press enter again and the bullet will pick up. If I press enter twice, it will remove the bullets. So I need to go back to the last correct space to pick up the bullets. If you don't type, it will lose the bullet. If I hold my shift key down and press enter, I get the space, but I might want to type. So shift enter like so, that will allow me to type a list within a bullet and then when I press enter again it will give me the next bullet and then enter enter to knock it off. Now if I just delete all of that and then have a look at some of the other bullets that's in there. So that was the, these are the preset bullets and uh, quite often this is a bigger list than you can see here. Um, I quite often use that in PowerPoint to be honest. But if I go down to the bottom you've got define new bullet click on that and then you've got symbols or picture and you can change the font size for the bullet like so now if I go for symbol what it should do is give me all the symbols so this is the same as clicking on insert symbol but you're doing it through bullet lists so the ones I want are down at the bottom wing dings wing dings that one and I don't know why you always go to the bottom of this list because I want to be at the top of this list and these are some of the options that you've got to be a button so you've got scissors there look so you could put scissors in but I want to use this little book symbol and then okay to that and now the size of this book is still quite small so this is where the font would come in so I want this to be um, red and I want the font to be quite large, so I'll go for 48. And then click OK to that, and then OK again. And then you get your little book, which is now your bullet, like so. Now, if I, if I get rid of those, delete that off. Now that, because I've just recently used it, is sitting there. Now, what you don't really want to be doing is editing these and losing the default one so that that bullet there is quite big to be honest so you might want to create a bullet this is just a smaller dot or you can create dashes whatever you want it to be of the bullet you just go down there and create your own little bullet list now in terms of numbers you have a similar sort of setup here different styles with the option there of creating a new number format so same process you'd go in the font so you've got that style there is a full stop I'm showing you what that is font you can change change the color to the numbers and we'll do that actually I'll change it to red I'll make it bold as well so the number is going to be bold and I'll change the size of it to 20 so that's the style I want click OK so you can see it there it's quite big if you wanted a bracket there you could put a bracket there um, you've got different styles if you want to change the number format there. Click OK to that and the same, print, same principle works. Now you've got, if you notice on the top there, you've got uh, an indent marker. If you sit your mar mouse on the rectangle, you'll be able to move that into the margin for one or all of them if you select them all or bring it back because um, quite often you have these sort of numbers in the margin area. So just push that into the margin like that. Now, if I put show hide on, you can see that there's a large tab there and that's part of the format for this numbered list. If I backspace that off, you take the number off. So that's the tab that's set there. You can't actually see it on the ruler. It's just part of the style that comes with this. So that's a straightforward numbered list. Now, if I get rid of that, backspace that off and get rid of show hide. 
Now the one um, next to it is the outline numbered list, which causes most problems that I find with people. So these are preset, and again you can change change the level or create a new list. Same sort of thing. You just go in there and create a list, call it whatever you want, and set the criteria, a different style of number, and then change the font and stuff like that. If I just cancel that off, and let's just pick one. So I'll just pick the default one actually, or the one I normally use is this one. Now you type away, you press enter, you type away, you press enter. Now to do the outline numbering, you just press your tab key or indent, and then you carry on. Tab again. So this will go down quite a long way. But obviously, um, you might not want it to go all the way down there. So if I want to come back up a level, I hold my shift key and press tab and it goes back, type, press enter, shift tab again, it goes back, type, press enter, shift tab again, it goes back again, type, press enter, shift tab back to the main list. And again, if you want the space, you hold your shift key down, enter, let go of your shift key, press enter again, you get the gap. Obviously you can come back through this and delete it off and faff about doing it on uh, making spaces afterwards but it's a long-winded way around of doing it if you remember the shift key and press enter and then press enter again to get your numbered list you will um, find it a lot easier now the good news is this sort of list you can put on a document that's got no numbers on at all but before i do that i just want to show you the benefit of doing this if i just delete that you see how it renumbered if i delete number two it's just renumbered underneath. That's now number two. So it's very dynamic. What you find in older documents, not so much in new documents, because um, when you type in Word now, if I type one and put a bracket on it, it's automatically um, thinking I want a numbered list. So it's actually giving me that. I don't know if you saw at the very beginning, I had, um, I'll just undo that actually. If I type it again, one bracket space. As soon as I do that, it's coming up with this auto text option. And I've got an option to undo automatic numbering to stop it. Um, but you'd have to physically do that. Most people would probably want an automatic list, so they will carry on typing and you will get the automatic list once you, you keep going. But in older versions of Word, you could type and people did type manually into a list in a big document which then caused a problem because if you're manually typing um, and then you ch try and change something so I'll see if I can do it on here this is a newer version though so I'll stop it doing automatic list so one so it hasn't come up with two if I go two and then I go three, so it's not doing an automatic list. Now, if I delete two, what happens? See, it hasn't reset to two, like the automatic list would do. So that would be a problem in a big document. So when people don't use the automatic list, because they might find it difficult initially, it causes real stress for other people that have to edit that document when they're trying to renumber a list. So my advice to you is to use the automatic list wherever possible. Now, I said that you can put this on a document they've already got formatted. So if I just double click three times in this margin, that will highlight the whole document. So just to remind you, if you didn't know, two clicks does a paragraph. Um, don't know what's happened here with this. Just backspace that. Just save this for a second. So one click, a line, two clicks, the paragraph, three clicks, the whole document. So I've highlighted the whole document, which is just one page. Uh, one and a bit and then I'm going to put the outline number on the one that I just did in fact it's that one and it puts numbers on every single paragraph but what you then have to do is basically go through the document knock it off where you don't want it and then just use your tab key to tab down where you want the indent to be the level to be now you might notice there that that B has gone bold Okay, there's two ways that you can get rid of this bold. You can highlight it and then knock that off. 
if I put it back on, so it's off at the minute, so if I put that back on, it puts it back on for all of the that level. So I take that off. In fact, I'll just do undo to get it back how it was. So just that one being bold, like so. The other way of doing it would be to go into the multi-leveled list option and you're on level two and go to font. So you see, you can see the B there. And then it doesn't actually show you it as being bold, but if you click on regular and then click OK, that will do it. But this is also where you can go and change the level, the indent level. You know, that's your space coming from these letters um, aligned at 0.5 centimeters, indented at 1.14. You know, and as you come in, as you come in down these different things, you know, these measurements obviously get bigger as you can see in the top level. So these are all set. So when you create your own list, which I showed you a second ago, you have to be very careful that you have some sort of logic in terms of distance from the left margin for these indented lists. If I click OK to that, it's taken it off. So that's how you get rid of that. So every time I press tab, it's going to go down and then shift tab, it's going to come back up to a main, a main number. And immediately everything underneath is just going to reset. Now, if somebody had typed, like I showed you a minute ago, manually, that wouldn't happen. And you'd have to go through this document and manually get rid of the numbers that have been typed and then highlight the whole document and reapply this numbered list. So if I double click and three times in the margin, numbered list, none. And that hasn't worked because I've got the top selected. So I'll have to drag down like that and then just take it off like so. So numbered list is off. I'll do control Q which will reset paragraphs and that's taking everything back to the left margin. So that was just a quick overview of numbered lists, outline numbered lists and bullets. Very easy to do from scratch. It's very easy to do, but when you're trying to edit somebody else's work, that can be really frustrating and extremely time consuming. What I would tend to do is what I've just done on that other document is, um, I'll close it, didn't I? is basically get everything off, control Q, reset the paragraphs, and then start again. Maybe I'd print the document off first so I can see what the indents were meant to be, what the numbering was meant to be. But that's numbering list, that's all I want to talk about on this session. So I'll catch you on the next one.